All right, picture this. It's just after dawn, the desert air still cool, but the sand's already swirling in the breeze. I'm out here staring down the runway at an absolute beast, the C-17 Globemaster III. This thing isn't just an aircraft. It's a lifeline, a workhorse, and a legend all rolled into one. Engines rumble to life, four Pratt and Whitney monsters spooling up. The sound alone could rattle your bones. Now here's the crazy bit. This 170-ton giant isn't on a fancy airstrip, nope. It's about to launch itself from a rough, sandy desert runway. This is what the C-17 was built for, going where others can't. Throttle up and sand blasts everywhere. The C-17 charges forward, massive tires crunching over the uneven surface. In the cockpit, the crew's laser-focused, running final checks as the desert landscape blurs past. Then the nose lifts. For a split second, it almost defies belief. This colossal plane, wings spanning nearly 52 meters, smoothly rising into the sky on nothing but a trail of dust. Now, up there, it's mission time. Troops, supplies, even vehicles. If it fits, the C-17 can haul it, drop it, or deliver it right into the heart of the action. And if the mission calls for it, it can land just about anywhere, sand or no sand. That's the magic of the C-17. Not just raw power, but unstoppable versatility. Every takeoff is a statement, no matter how harsh the environment, this plane gets the job done. And honestly, that's why aviation fans like me can't get enough of it.